What's going on guys? Bangalina here coming back at you with another video. Today we are back on Madden NFL 18 franchise, doing a franchise rebuild of sorts. If you guys are new here on the channel, I would appreciate you hitting the subscribe button, letting me know down in the comment section below what you'd like to see next. But today we are doing a Cleveland Browns offseason rebuild. If you guys are not students of history and of the NFL draft, the NFL draft has just passed. The Cleveland Browns had a very exciting draft Picking number one, where they selected Baker Mayfield, quarterback out of Oklahoma, number one overall. Today, we will be checking out this Browns team. Eventually, we'll be led by Baker Mayfield, of course, in the offseason. They brought in Jarvis Landry, signed him to a five-year deal. They brought in Tyrod Taylor from the Buffalo Bills. It was a very exciting offseason for the Browns. Let's go ahead and look at this roster and see how we can kind of change this around and really rebuild this Browns team that I expect to compete for a playoff spot in 2018. If you guys want to get this roster, by the way, I don't remember what it's called, but you can look it up. It's called like Madden 2019, something along those lines, Madden 19, something. Um, but we're going to go over the roster. A lot of these players have not been edited for any type of development. I went ahead and gave Baker Mayfield quick development. I think it makes a little bit more sense with his uh, sky high ceiling. We got Antonio Callaway out here. If we go over the roster, Jarvis Landry is new. Austin Corbett drafted at the top of the second round. He is going to be our starting left tackle in season number one. I don't know why he's a 76 overall and starting over Rod Johnson. We're going to reorder that and get that fixed at least a little bit. And uh, Antonio Callaway at wide receiver number four is perfect. And uh, Njoku will start at tight end on the defensive side of the ball. I am looking to improve at linebacker. Christian Kirksey might be fine for now. Jamie Collins is aging. I don't really want to start Jabril Peppers. We are going to make trades. If you look at the cornerback position, we are extremely deep here. I am going to look to trade Jamar Taylor for sure. I like Denzel Ward starting uh, in the slot, at least for the first season. TJ Carey, I think, will eventually move there if we don't end up upgrading over him. I also like Brianne Body Calhoun. I think he's going to be a solid wide receiver number, uh, excuse me, a cornerback number four for us. And then on the defensive line, I really like what we're doing here. Uh, it's going to be fun. I'm not sure how realistic we're going to make this, but I'm certainly going to trade some players uh, and upgrade right off the bat. Might trade players for picks. I'm not going to make a lot of moves other than maybe... Uh, improving on the offensive line, either adding a tackle, but I am certainly going to trade Jamar Taylor and look to improve at linebacker safety and on the offensive line. With this first trade, I'm trading Jamar Taylor as well as a fourth round pick for Daryl Williams from the Carolina Panthers. I think it's immediate upgrade on the offensive line. He's going to start at right tackle. I want to try Austin Corbett at left tackle. I think he's going to fit in there very well, but I don't really like Chris Hubbard. I don't like Rod Johnson or Donald Stevenson. We needed to upgrade on the offensive line. I think we've done just that. And I, you know, I could look for a center. I think JC Treader's rated a little bit lowly on this game and this roster. I'm going to keep it how it is. We're going to roll with Tyrod Taylor for our first season, and we're going to wait for Baker Mayfield, hopefully to develop a little bit behind him. Carlos Hyde's going to start. Nick Chubb will be a rotational player at best. But this is going to be the team. For season number one not really doing any more trades than what you just saw but we'll look to improve in the draft we'll look to improve in free agency maybe without without further ado let's go ahead and simulate to um the offseason we're gonna start off right there now the contracts don't work exactly how they will in real life but ej Gaines is a free agent we're gonna have to bring some of these players back josh gordon i think uh certainly even though he does have slow development in the game He's still probably going to have that next year as well. But let's go ahead and bring these top two players back at least. So we have brought back both EJ Gaines and Josh Gordon. I really have no vested interest in any of these players uh, beneath them. We're fine at defensive tackle. Don't really need Jamie Meter. So we're going to advance to free agency. See who's available to be uh, taken. I assume it's going to be nobody of any real particular value. So it's pretty much going to be straight to the draft. So Des Bryant's here. That's interesting. Orleans Dark was a pretty high overall. Uh, but we don't need a running back, really. Uh, don't really need anything here. I think at wide receiver, we're fine for now. Could potentially look to draft somebody. Uh, we're just going to use, you know, whatever prospects come up. We're not going to change any names or anything like that. But as far as XP goes, we're in a decent spot. We'll go ahead and check out the stats, as this might be the season that we upgrade and go Baker Mayfield at QB1. Move Tyrod Taylor to the bench. I think in year two, I think it'd probably be fine time. Tyrod Taylor, 3,600 yards, 23 touchdowns, six interceptions. A solid season for him. Uh, nonetheless, Mayfield, four for seven with a touchdown. Ooh. Ooh. Baker, okay. 
rushing. Carlos Hyde, one yard short of a thousand yards, one yard short of a touch or 10 touchdowns, double digit touchdowns, 3.3 yards per carry for him, 3.8 for Duke Johnson. We got to get this running game better. Nick Chubb only had two attempts for one yard. Receiving juice. Landry, 1,000 yards on 69 receptions. Nice. Nine touchdowns for him as well. Corey Coleman came close to that 1,000-yard marker. Five touchdowns for him in the slot. What did Antonio Callaway do? Antonio Callaway, four receptions, 66 yards. Blocking. Now we do in sacks. Austin Corbett led up 33. Rest of the offensive line was awesome. Of course, we know in Madden that uh, offensive line is screwed. It just is. It's never going to work out to the point of where one doesn't let up an insane amount of sacks as Joe Schobert leads our team in tackles with 149. Only player to get triple-digit tackles. Tackles for loss would be 16 for Miles Garrett as he continues to improve. Sacks 8.5 for Garrett led the team 6.5 uh, for Emmanuel Agba. Interceptions 2 for TJ Carey, 2 for the rookie Denzel Ward out of Ohio State. Any forced fumbles, I saw Ward had at least 2. That was tied for the team lead. Fumble recoveries. Only three in general. Denzel Ward had one, though. And then at least one defensive touchdown. That's all we get. It's EJ Gaines. As we will check out the awards, Baker Mayfield certainly won't be in the running for this as Drew Brees takes home the league MVP. Show me some Browns here. AFC Offensive Player of the Year is Tom Brady. No Browns. Defensive Player of the Year is Melvin Ingram. No Browns. Offensive Rookie of the Year is Leonard Fournette. Of course, these guys are technically rookies still in this roster. As uh, no Browns yet again. And then Defensive Rookie of the Year is Matt Milano. Uh, that's weird. Bradley Chubb in there at number two. However, Miles Garrett at number eight. I know it's a weird combo, but that's the way we have to do it on uh, Madden 18 for the time being until Madden 19 comes out. But uh, not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade these players after the draft. Let's do the draft first. So I didn't even catch our record. We went 5-11, and 11, which was good enough or bad enough for the seventh overall pick in the draft. We also had another because uh, the way it works out with the previous draft picks acquired so we have seven and we have 13 we also happen to have three second round picks a third a fourth a fifth two sixth and a seventh we're going to be very active uh, i'll show you guys the good ones i guess starting off with one of my favorite players in the draft am i only drafting him so i could make that joke uh, certainly in part uh randall favorite which apparently demarius randall demarius randall however you want to say it is not my favorite safety because this Randall is my favorite safety. Are you following along? Decent combine. Good top three skills. I like him at the safety position. Could move him to the strong side. We could do a number of things here. Playmaking safety out of Texas. Does that sound familiar? At 5'10". Earl Thomas. He has superstar development. 80 overall. Ranked number 19 in the draft. We took him at number 7. 92 speed. 83 zone. 84 hit power. This is an impact player at the very worst. He's going to be a beast. And then next up, I'm going to take an inside linebacker in Crosby Lowry out of Notre Dame. Great top three skills. He can tackle. He's an athlete. Inqui incredibly quick. I just turned to Elmer Fudd. It's Wabbit season. No, he's 4'6", 140. Incredibly quick in the three cone and the 20-yard shell. He's strong. 27 reps of 225, and he can jump out the gym. Great vert and great broad jump. We're going to take him. And he is an 80 overall with normal development. 86 speed, 90 tackle, 84 hit power it appeared to be. I clicked out of it very quickly. And now in the second round, we're going to take a player with can't miss top three skills. Insane top three skills. Didn't have a fantastic combine, but he's someone that I can see sliding inside a defensive tackle and being an absolute monster. 6'6", six six, 289 pounds out of Florida. B plus power move, B plus block shed, B plus tackle. Here he is, 75 overall, quick development. But he has exactly what you want on the interior. 81 strength, decent strength, 86 tackle, 87 block shed, 89 power move, 75 speed with 81 acceleration. The quick development is going to be awesome. And he is a fantastic second round pick, in my opinion. We'll slide him right inside to play defensive tackle, and he should be, I would say, at least an 80 overall. That's what I'm shooting for. Going to take Mike Campbell here. Uh, doesn't look amazing, but he looks to be one of the better players on the board. He's a tackle. Could potentially kick him inside a little bit, but he looks like a pure tackle. Looks okay. If his development is good, he's going to be a solid player. If not, he has slow development. Ranked number 44 in the class. We took him at number 45. Decent all-around attributes, but that slow development is going to hurt. He's going to have to have good development to compete for a job anyway with Austin Corbett. So he likely will not move over to any of the spots, especially with Darrell Williams. We're going to trade down a little bit as well. 
picking up picks. I'll show you guys when I actually draft the player. We're going to beef up this D-line some more. David Barnes out of Oregon. Good top three skills. Great combine. Wish he was a bit stronger. Should be an impact player nonetheless. We're going to beef up this defensive line a lot. Maybe their trade value. Maybe they kick outside. I'm not really sure. David Barnes, though, is the pick. 75 overall quick development. Ranked number 55 in the class. We took him at 103. Uh, decent all around. Nothing crazy, but at quick development. It's a good value pick for sure here in the fourth. Next up, Dawson Hardy out of Southern Arkansas. Good top three skills, good combine. I like him a lot. 78 overall, quick development, ranked number 34 in the class. We took him at 114. It looks a little bit better than the previous player we took. And he has the same development. This could be a really good player for us. Not sure what we do. We already have Larry Ogunjobi. We already have drafted, uh, technically, if you want to talk about it, two defensive tackles, but in a defensive end, I plan on moving to the inside. Unless we change systems to a 3-4, uh, we're gonna have a lot of defensive tackles and maybe even another one with Patrick Pollock here at a USC He's gonna be more of a defensive end just depth good value pick here. We're in the fifth round and he is a 69 overall nice the moment of truth for Rashad Dixon Drafted him as a defensive end to play defensive tackle and we'll see what his overall jumps to as a defensive tackle I'm thinking it's moving up 79 80 something in that range. I would guess as he is a 79. So, I don't know. I mean, I love Larry Ogunjobi out of Charlotte. How could you not? He's an absolute beast. But, we have a crowded defensive line now. Let's go ahead and upgrade this team before we get on to season number two. Maybe looking to trade some defensive line for some linebackers. Maybe even improve the offensive line. J.C. Shredder's potential hole at center. Gonna have to address receiver at some point if these guys don't start developing. We're using Trevon Coley to trade for Ronald Leary. And it's all about finding the fit now. Because I think Austin Corbett's coming along somewhat nicely. Used his XP to get him up to, all the way to an 80 overall. But now, what do we do on this offensive line? I think what we do is move Joel Batonio over to center. He's a very versatile offensive lineman. Played tackle at Nevada. He played left guard. For the Browns. Now we're going to ask him to play center. I think that's going to improve our offensive line quite a bit. Plugs that hole right up. And this is now one of the better offensive lines in football. Not that it wasn't previously. But we needed the upgrade over JC Treader for sure. All in the low to mid 80s now for the offensive line. Hopefully guys like Corbett. Like Batonio. Like Darrell Williams will keep progressing. Kevin Zeitler is closer to 30. As he's 28. Ronald Leary is 29 I believe. He's 29. So... They're going to probably progress a little bit more slowly, if at all. We've got David Njoku. The receivers going to look to upgrade that in the offseason at some point. Baker Mayfield will be the starting quarterback for this Browns team here in year number two. And then on the defense side of the ball, uh, we're going to start Dixon, I would say. Um, Rashad Dixon. We got Hardy, who we drafted underneath him. He's also got quick development. We have Barnes underneath that. And I might look to transition into a more 3-4 uh, base scheme with Miles Garrett playing 3-4 outside linebacker, with Emmanuel Agba playing 3-4 outside linebacker, kind of like the way he did at Oklahoma State. Larry Ogunjobi could be a nose. Dixon could be a 3-4 defensive end. Hardy can be a 3-4 defensive end. And we have Lowry and Schobert, or even Christian Kirksey as our two middle linebackers. Jamie Collins can be trade bait for an edge rusher, or he could even be an edge rusher for that first season. Uh, not really the power moves to where we want them to be. So that's probably not going to happen. I think more likely I'm just going to trade a defensive lineman uh, for a linebacker at some point. We're going to simulate season two with the team that we have. Just played the, the development game for this one. This is the first year that we have Baker Mayfield starting. Hopefully he can lead our team to the promised land. We're going to simulate to the midseason mark. See how this Browns team is going. Doing? Going? Going is what came out. That's disgusting, but could be a good result for us if we, you know, if we play well. I don't. What am I? So we are five and two at the midseason mark, currently atop the AFC North after a 41 to 20 win over the Oakland Raiders in Week Eight. Looks like Darrell Williams is a free agent, as is whom else? Duke Johnson, Tyrod Taylor, Austin Corbett, Brand Body Calhoun, Demarius Randall. Chad Thomas. Uh, right now, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to re-sign Daryl Williams. I'm going to look to re-sign Duke Johnson and Austin Corbett. Guys, I'm not too keen on re-signing Tyrod Taylor. 
because he's going to want some money, and I'm not paying a backup 11 mil per year. Brand Body Calhoun, he's a fourth cornerback. He's been good. He was great last year for the Browns, or I guess two years ago now at this point uh, in this franchise. I'm not going to pay him more than 2.5. This is the highest contract I'm going to offer him, five years, 2.5 mil, and uh, he doesn't want it, and I don't, I don't want to sign you then. I can't. All right, bottom line is we re-signed who we needed to. Daryl Williams, Duke Johnson, and Austin Corbett. I'm not too keen on re-signing these other players. I'm just not. They don't have the value, or they want to be paid way too much for what they can offer me, which I guess goes back to the value thing there. Because if you look at cornerback, we have EJ Gaines, Denzel Ward, TJ Carey, and then do we really need to pay Brian Body Cahoon over three a year when we have Terrence Mitchell to be, you know, to rarely play? I don't think so. But this is a very good team. Favorite has a ton of XP. He has a ton of XP. Did you win Defensive Player of the Week at any point? Maybe. Doesn't look like it. But um, he has superstar development. He's getting a ton of XP. Wish Jabril Peppers would play at that same level. Uh, Baker Mayfield, though. We're going to upgrade him at this point. We're competing for a playoff spot. So this is the most important thing. Let's get deep accuracy, medium accuracy work on awareness at another time i'm gonna upgrade this team and then we're gonna simulate to the playoffs and see if the cleveland browns here and your number two are at least playoff contenders which we are but are they going to make the playoffs that remains to be seen so we would go nine and seven just making the wild card the dolphins are also there out of the afc as we won our division but got the wild card spot uh, due to having one of the worst records but we'll check out the stat line here and we'll see that you know that baker mayfield antonio callaway josh gordon bacon bake connection baker mayfield had a solid season overall 4600 yards just about 37 touchdowns 20 interceptions is too many but other than that i think we were fine carlos hyde about 1300 yards seven touchdowns duke johnson with 11 touchdowns as a backup carlos hyde is fumbling the ball way too much he is probably on the trade block for me as uh hold on who had 6.6 .6 yards per carry Tyrod Taylor, interesting. Receiving, Josh Gordon, almost 1,000 yards, five touchdowns. Jarvis Landry, 1,200 yards, nine touchdowns. David Njoku, 866 yards, nine touchdowns. Corey Coleman, over 1,000 yards, seven touchdowns. Blocking, I imagine it's not going to be that great, and it's much better. Defensively, Crosby Lowry led our team in tackles with 152. Tackles for loss would be 16 for Miles Garrett, who also, would, oh, would not lead our team in sacks. Jamie Collins had nine. Kind of odd. Eight and a half for Garrett. I don't know how Jamie Collins off the edge. I got to change the scheme a little bit. Interceptions, it might be weird in the game. EJ Gaines has five. The rookie Randall Favorite has four. I'm telling you right now, Crosby Lowry getting three. One of these two is winning defensive rookie of the year. One of those two are winning it. Force fumbles. We have three from Randall Favorite, three from Garrett. Recoveries, uh, two from a couple of players led our team, and then at least one defensive touchdown. That's Randall Favorite and Crosby Lowry. One of them is winning defensive rookie of the year. We're about to see who. MVP goes to Aaron Rodgers. Alvin Kamara at two. Baker Mayfield at eight. AFC Offensive Player of the Year is Marcus Mariota. Baker Mayfield at six. And we're about to see a defensive player of the year, J.J. Watt. We have Crosby Lowry at number six. That's your defensive rookie of the year. Offensive rookie of the year, Sidney Cherry as the wide receiver, Lester Polly Dixon, in there at number three. I guess he was our wide receiver number four. And then defensive rookie of the year is Crosby Lowry. Randall favorite at number four. And then a lot of B teams. Browns, Browns, Bills, Bills, Broncos, Bengals, Bengals. Wow. I'm going to go ahead, and, though, and upgrade these players. We have Baker Mayfield with a ton of XP. A lot of players with a decent amount of XP. Daryl Williams certainly made the uh, Pro Bowl. with uh, Yes, he did. And quick development on him as well. Jarvis Landry, ton of XP as well. And quick development. Did he already have that? Probably did. Defensively, 45k XP for Randall. Favorite. Superstar Dev helped out a lot. He made the Pro Bowl. And then Crosby Lowry, I guess, missed out on the Pro Bowl. He won Defensive Rookie of the Year, though. So that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and upgrade these guys. See what this team can do for the Wild Card playoff. See, yeah, we're... Schobert's getting more playing time than Dixon. We're in attacking 3-4 somehow, or at least in attacking 4-3. Also, I don't know what's going on with that white box. I'm not going to wait for it. Kind of weird on PS4. Um, but we're going to change these playbooks a bit. I'm going to go to a more traditional 4-3. We'll go with the 
Los Angeles Chargers, and we'll go to a base 4-3. So this is the team for the playoffs. Baker Mayfield up to an 87 overall. I might trade Carlos Hyde, man. I don't know how he works out with the Browns so far. I uh, would love Antonio Callaway to get some playing time, but he's not going to. He's just, he's just buried down on the depth chart now. He's just not going to play. He just, he just isn't. Defensively, though, we're in a fine spot with Randall Favorite being an absolute beast. Got his own coverage up to 98. Crosby Lowry is an absolute monster as well. Got him up quite a bit. And then the cornerbacks are coming along nicely. The defensive line coming along nicely. We're running a new scheme now for the playoffs. So Joe Schobert is essentially uh, a non-factor for me as we're going to simulate now to the divisional. Can we beat the Miami Dolphins in the wild card? We can. And now it's going to be against the New England Patriots to see who will go to the AFC Conference Championship. 9-7 Cleveland Browns against the 11-5 New England Patriots. The winner is the Cleveland Browns at 9-7. As Baker won Offensive Player of the Week there, so we're going to use some of that XP on him, get him upgraded a bit. Also, just bought QB with my, uh, or QB experience bonus with my Coach XP, so he should get even more experience. But now, to advance to the Super Bowl, can the Cleveland Browns win the Super Bowl in year number two? Regardless, I will be going to a year three, and no. We are going to be eliminated as the Rams and the Texans will face off in that Super Bowl. But that's all right, man. We're going to come back ready raring to go for week number three we're gonna have a solid offseason we're gonna have a solid draft free agency i want to upgrade at wide receiver i want to upgrade at strong safety and i want to upgrade at potentially even running back i think the defensive line's fine might look to get an edge rusher linebacker as well this is going to be a very very good team here in year number three i would hope Draft class, or not draft class, free agent class, not very good, not interested. All right, pick number 29 here in the first. Of course, we almost made the Super Bowl, so we're not going to have a high draft pick. And we're looking at Xavier Dugans out of Georgia as a potential strong safety option for us. I know he's a free safety, but he's a run support guy. Good hit power, good speed, could fit the bill. And uh, honestly, we're probably going to take him. He fits the bill at this position. Xavier Dugans. Not great in zone coverage. It's good speed, good hit power, 91, 89 respectively. 80 tackle as well. 76 overall, only normal development. He's at rank number 31. We took him at 29, so right in his range. But uh, unfortunately, he's not a gigantically amazing player. But we're going to back this up with what I think possibly could be. That's a little redundant for you. And a linebacker. Watts Terry out of Tennessee. 3-4 pass rusher. I think he can do a lot more than that. I think he's going to fit in very well. 78 overall, ranked number 24 in the class. He's going to 35, 78 speed, 86 tackle, 83 block shot, 88 hit power. Decent outside linebacker. Um, might end up trading for one still. All right, time for a big draft trade. I'm going to pause, and I'm going to I'm going to bring in some talent. All right, Joe Schobert, J.C. Trutter, and a second-round pick is going to secure Chandler Jones. He is a little bit older, 29. That's going to be fine for my purposes as we might be heading into a third and final season. He's going to slide in at left end over Emmanuel Agba. Still need to improve at linebacker, trading away some value there. Um, but I do want to get some better linebackers, man. Jamie Collins could be on the trade block. Christian Kirksey certainly will be. Need to bring in more talent. We're going to see where the value is and see where we can improve. Christian Kirksey and a second round pick is going to get me Avery Williamson. Uh, from the New York Jets, obviously the former Tennessee Titan. He has never played with the Jets in real life. Just yet, but he did sign there. He's going to be an upgrade at the position for us. He's going to slide over to outside linebacker in our 4-3. Should work out very, very well. Obviously, like Crosby Lowry at uh, our current middle linebacker spot. We're in a 3-4, so we're going to slide him over to play right outside linebacker. Very, very nice. And then at left outside linebacker, we might be fine to just rock with Jamie Collins. But I do want to, I think, trade for a safety. We did draft one, but he's kind of... I mean, he's a first-round safety. We're just going to... We're going to go with him. Might try to make a blockbuster trade and bring in a wide receiver, though. Corey Coleman, a third-round pick this year and a first-round pick next year, is going to get me the aging Julio Jones. Could have been a draft pick of the Cleveland Browns, actually, uh, when they drafted, but they traded out of that spot, and the Falcons ended up getting him. But... Julio Jones is the newest Cleveland Brown. We've been very active in this draft and adding a top tier receiver at Julio, in Julio Jones, even at this age and at this point in his career where he is 30, 31. Uh, I'm 
totally fine with it. He's going to pair nicely with Jarvis Landry. Didn't really want Corey Coleman. And uh, we're going to have Josh Gordon also in that trio. Going to be a very good-looking group of receivers. We'll have uh, Josh Landry. No, Josh Landry. Josh Gordon at number two. Jarvis Landry in the slot, maybe. I think it probably works better. Good offensive line. Good receiving options. We got Baker Mayfield at the QB spot. Good linebacking core. Uh, at safety, we're going to run Dugans over Jabril Peppers. Cornerback should be fine. Defensive line should be fine. This should be a very good team for season number three. I'm hoping for the playoffs again. And of course, what do we want? Lombardi Trophy. We want the Super Bowl. It's time. Let's get it. All right, let's simulate to the midseason mark. Hoping for... Uh, Six and one, six and two, depending on what you know week it stops us at. All right, we are seven and one. Better than I could have hoped for. Not going to worry about negotiations. This is certainly a playoff team. I'm going to uh, upgrade the team before uh, we go here, but I'm also going to use some coach XP. I don't know if I've done defensive backs yet. What have I not done that I need to? LB and DB. All right, let's simulate a week and get some more XP. So we can get that last bit of coach XP in order to uh, get that XB, XP boost before uh, simulating to the playoffs. There it is. We should be 8-1, and one and we are. This is a team that can play. All right, this is the upgraded team that we're going to be eventually heading into the playoffs. I, I don't think there's any conceivable way that we don't make the playoffs, considering how, t how uh, good this team is playing, how well they're playing. But, you know, I guess anything's possible. On to the playoffs. Cleveland Browns, we're bringing a Super Bowl to Cleveland. Maybe. <laughs> All right. We went 13-3, and three, making the playoffs. We have a first-round buy as well. Let's check out the stats. Baker Mayfield, 4,200 yards, 32 touchdowns, only five interceptions. Rushing Duke Johnson had a solid season. 1,400 yards, four yards per carry, average on the ground, 10 touchdowns. He worked a lot better as a starter. And Carlos Hyde coming off the bench with 15 TDs. Receiving Julio Jones, 1,200 yards, 15 touchdowns. Seven for Njoku. No one else that close to 1,000 yards. Juice and Josh, kind of close to 900, two yards apart as well from each other. Uh, sacks allowed were way down. Defensively, Crosby Lowry led our team in tackles with 137. Tackles for loss, 13 for Miles Garrett. QB sacks, 19.5 for Miles Garrett, 11.5 for Avery Williamson, 11 for Chandler Jones, 8 for. Larry Ogunjobi. Interceptions, three for Dugans, the rookie. Three for a few other players as well, and Denzel Ward, EJ Gaines. Force fumbles, three for EJ Gaines, three for Miles Garrett. And defensive touchdowns, do I see any? No. Do we have any? Also, no. Let's check out awards. Deshaun Watson wins the MVP. Baker Mayfield at number five. AFC Office Player of the Year goes to Deshaun Watson as well. Baker at number four. No other Browns. Defensive Player of the Year is Miles Garrett. Crosby Lowry at number three. Avery Williamson at number four. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Morris Wilson. No Browns. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Xavier Dugans. Okay. Not too bad at all. All right. A lot of XP for some players. I'm going to let the CPU handle it. And we're going to move on to these playoffs. Hopefully, 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 we can win a Super Bowl. It's very doable. All right. Got the Patriots here. We beat them once before. This is the divisional round. The 9-7 Patriots versus the 13-3 Cleveland Browns. Rolls are reversed, and we lose the Patriots by six. Brutal. I'm going to send it to the next season. Whatever happens in the offseason happens. That was probably a bad decision. I'm going to lose some play. That was a bad decision. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop if I can. I got to resign. <laughs> okay, didn't resign them. Fuck it. We're going on. Next season. See you there. Ah, Baker Mayfield was lost. Okay. That's that's rough. Anyone else of note? Avery Williamson. Jamie Collins. Denzel Ward. Wow. That's gonna do it for the video. Fuck this. I'm done. That was that was a mistake. We should have won in season three. The team's good. It's already a long video anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you want to see me do next, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Thanks for watching again. I, I just said take it easy. That should be my... Take it easy. See ya. Take, no, take it easy. This shit don't run well.